I was looking for a method to just transfer D64 image files to a real 64 disk. I have an Easy Flash 3, which sits right inside this white casing, which I 3D printed. And from there goes a cable to my Windows PC, which is actually sitting under my desk and behind the door, so I can close it down if I don't want to hear it. And on my Mac, I have remote desktoped right inside that very Windows PC. And what you can do with an Easy Flash is you take a disk, put it inside the 5041, which is connected to the C64. Then on the C64, which image can you see? You can see here, you go to the menu, then you turn to the Windows PC again, you download Easy Transfer from the website of uh, the Easy Flash 3, you go to Write Disk, select a D64 disk image, I will use the head tester image, you select the drive number which is usually 8 and you click Go and then on the C64 side this whole thing will start formatting and copying a disk from your PC out of a D64 archive onto your C64. And this takes about 50 seconds and then you're good to go and you have a perfectly written disk. Doesn't matter how much uh, stuff is on the disk, it always takes about 50 seconds. And that's pretty neat. And before I manage to get my 5041 running again, you see it's verifying already. Before I got my 5041 ready, you can also start programs or PRG files from your PC on the C64 the same method. You go to the menu of the Easy Flash, you um, start the Easy Transfer program on the Windows PC, you select the PRG, press go and it starts the program on the C64. So this is done. It says waiting for command from USB. You can copy another disk or do whatever you like. And as you can see, we have a disk which is still in here. And let's try to access this from the C64. So I will reset the machine. And there it is, head tester. So if you don't have any con other construction which allows you to connect a 5041 to your PC or something like this, Easy Flash is a pretty reliable and easy way to do this. It's about, I guess, 40 euros or 40 dollars, depending on where you are. Uh, as I said, I 3D printed my own case, so it's just a naked module. And it seems to work great. So let's load this up. and see. There we are. Great. So This is Retro is your new black. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.